All right, hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're at unit 11 now, and uh, last unit we saw the social construction of reality. So what we saw is in real time how people both build society, build this machine that we've got behind us, and at the same time submit to its expectations. Um, I kind of geeked out in the, uh, in the guide that I gave you, but I, it really is deeply, deeply amazing to me how that whole process works. Um, today we transfer or we, uh, we move from talking about probably my favorite concept in the entire course to a bunch of my least favorite concepts. Unit 11, we get into unintended consequences of the machine. So what we've done up to now is we've basically dealt with this dumb little drawing and we've fleshed the entire thing out. Um, we have people who get inserted into the machine of society, they go through it, and they are transformed into thoughts and behaviors. That's what we've done for the entire semester. Um, now what we're going to deal with is we're going to focus on what happens to this person. This person we've defined as the raw material for society, but uh, this raw material, like any raw material I think that you use in a machine, is not going to be perfectly consumed in that process. Just like gasoline in cars. Gasolines are put into a machine called a car and transformed into motion. But there is an unintended consequence, a negative um, waste product in the form of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide that pollute the environment. Same thing is going to be seen here. Um, we are going to take human beings, put them into a machine, transform them into thoughts and behaviors. That's the intended consequence of society. But just like gasoline in cars, this is not the ideal raw material for this machine. Um, we talked about the fact that human beings have, uh, have preferences, they have emotions, and we saw in the social construction of reality that um, there are real consequences, and we saw a whole bunch of real consequences, real suffering that happened because of the way this particular machine got built. That's what we're going to be doing in this entire unit. So it is going to be just misery, basically, for the next six lectures. Um, the reason that this is going to be the case, just let me pull down my script for a moment, is it basically has to do with the fact that this person evolved to be in a particular environment. This animal evolved to be in small groups, simple and homogeneous groups, um, solving problems of daily survival that meant that um, all of the issues that the person had were basically present tense. Um, we weren't worrying about the future. We were, we were focused on surviving in that particular day. Um, these people were curious and creative problem solvers. Now you're going to take that animal and put that animal into a machine that, and into an environment that is radically different. Instead of a small hundred or so person environment that we're in, we're in a, an environment that nowadays, thanks to social and mass media, we are literally in contact with billions of people. Um, the, 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 the society that we're in is also much more complex. Um, we've talked about in the past that I have this status set that involves me being a teacher, a coach, a father, all of, and, and as well as a consumer, a, a citizen, a voter. I mean, a whole bunch of things that I am called upon to do in my life. Whereas when we were in hunter-gatherer societies, it was much, much more simple. Um, and the last, uh, the last sort of major difference, so you've got massive and uh, diverse population. You've got a very complex machine as compared to the simple ones that we built when we were, in, when we were hunter-gatherers. And third, um, and this is one that's going to come up uh, in a particular way a couple of times in, in, the next few, uh, in the next few videos, is we live in a rationalized or efficiency-focused society in a way that our uh, hunter-gatherer forebears didn't. They would tr certainly try to do things in the best way to them, but if the best way involved doing things efficiently, they would do that. If they involved doing things in the most enjoyable way or the way that honored their ancestors or tradition in some way, they would do that. For us, efficiency is basically the organizing principle of our entire society. So what happens 
when you take this person who evolved to have, to um, fit into a particular environment and change that environment radically. That's the experiment that we've been talking about the entire semester. Now we're going to see some of those negative consequences. So I've drawn this machine really small because what we're going to be focused on is the stuff that this person turns into. Um, I think that is it for my entire introduction. Yeah, that's it for video one. So this is where we're going. It is going to be basically misery for the next six or so lectures. Sorry about that. You'll see a lot of your own experience in this, and so we'll help make sense of that. That part will be good, but um, the reality is a lot of these things that I'm going to talk about being so bad are going to be really difficult, if not impossible, to avoid. But we'll do our best to solve the problems. All right, I will see you in the next video where we will talk about a chronic condition of apathy that occurs for all of us. I'll see you then.